hi guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss data dictionary okay so guys if you are watching this video then i'm sure you must be dealing with system analysis and design or you just be dealing with the principles of information management or management information system courses or you must be dealing with the project which you'll be doing in the semester okay so where always this term comes you have to draw a data dictionary what is data dictionary and all those things happen around this thing we call it as a data dictionary so guys in this video we will discuss what is a data dictionary what is the purpose to build a data dictionary and how do we build it with an example okay so guys for the full video all of you stay tuned karen jetley live so guys the first thing what is data dictionary so guys data dictionary is normally organized in form of a table so we can say it is a table which provides you with the detailed information about the data which you are using in your database which you are using in your database so guys now what does this mean so you know for any information system to work it needs a database it needs database if there is no data the information system cannot work and where do we store the data we store it in the database okay and what is database database you know is collection of different tables okay which can be related to each other which can be related to each other and in each table you have some set of attributes and attribute values and you have some set of attributes and at attribute values okay so what a table store it has attributes and it stores the attribute values which is the data which is the data for example this is one table okay so it is storing some information about the student like student id student name student date of birth okay so what are these these are the attributes okay and what are the values values is for example if student id is 1 2 3 student name is karan k a r a n and student date of birth is 24 8 19 77 so these are the attribute values okay and in each table we have set of attributes and we have some values okay so together all these tables they make your database they make your database which will be used by the information system to generate the different types of information okay now this data is stored in the database okay so when we want the detailed information about this data then for that we create a structure called as a data dictionary okay it contains the detailed information about data in your database it contains the detailed information about your data in the database okay now guys the question comes already i created the database i already know what is there in my data okay so then what is the purpose of building the data dictionary okay so the main purpose of building the data dictionary is to understand the data is to understand the data isn't it so whenever we develop a information system there is not a single person who is doing it so it is a group of team okay or it a group of team members who are dealing with the information systems some people are dealing with the data some people are dealing with the with the logic building and all the team members together they work on one information system okay now suppose i created it i created my database and someone else needs to use it or needs to do some work on it okay so what i created i understand okay he may not okay or what i created okay i understand it in a different way than the other team member okay so there to avoid that confusion data dictionary comes into picture so what is the purpose of building the data dictionary first is to understand the data what data i am using and another thing is to maintain the consistency okay among the different team members of okay what do you mean by for example i am using some attributes like student id 
okay so i understand student id i created it i understand it is a integer value okay some other member okay he may understand it student id can be string also okay because sometimes the student ids are combination of alphabets and digits okay so to avoid such confusion to avoid such confusion data dictionary comes into picture okay so anything you do not understand why i am using in my database okay what does it means what type of data it stores so what i do is simply i refer to the data dictionary i refer to the data dictionary and all the confusion is gone and we all follow the consistent data okay we all follow the consistent data pattern throughout the development process with the help of data dictionary okay we can also call it as it is like a catalog it is like a catalog about the data which is used in your database it is a catalog by catalog see catalog has all the details okay so if i make a catalog about my different data items okay so which has all the details what is the item what is the type whether it is primary key or it is not primary key and so on okay so then what i get i get data dictionary so guys i hope this is clear to you okay now let us move to the next part we will create a data dictionary okay for a customer suppose in any uh, store okay which is maintaining uh, the data about the customers products it is generating the bill okay so one of the table which stores the information about the customer is the customer table okay and in this example we will study it and we are going to create a data dictionary for that table so guys let us consider this table in the database okay so the table is customer so first thing what comes here is the name of the table okay so in the database you know data is organized in form of tables and what is the name of that table name is customer who created that table suppose i created it okay so the owner of table is karan okay so here my name is there so that in future anyone wants any clarification they know who created this table so automatically 90% of the confusion will go okay go and ask the guy who created it okay version so version it tells which version is this for example if this is my first draft if this is my first table i did not do any modifications this is the first table i created so for example i call it as alpha i call it as alpha alpha means this is the first version i created for my database okay for this table when did i created it suppose i created it uh, i can say 10th of december then 2023 so this information comes okay what is the name of the entity name is customer who created this table current created it okay what is the version this is the first version alpha version of it okay when it was created it was created on this date okay now then what other things which are covered in the data dictionary the first thing which comes data elements so they are also called as the table attributes so what are the attributes of customer for example we have customer id okay then i have customer name okay then what i else i can have i can have customer date of birth customer phone number customer address so these are my attributes of my customer table customer id customer name customer date of birth customer phone number customer address okay first thing covered all the attributes or all the data elements of customer are covered here okay then the next thing whether these elements any of these elements is a primary key or a candidate key or it is a foreign key here i will mention it okay so key whether it is a primary key or it is a candidate key or it is a foreign key so normally customer id what it will be it will be a primary it is a primary key so name is nothing leave it blank date of birth also we are not using it phone number also for the time being we are not using it and the address also so we have only one primary key that is your customer id okay 
then comes type then comes type type means what type of data will be stored in this normally customer id as i mentioned i will keep it as integer i will keep it as integer customer name character okay customer date of birth the type will be date customer phone number again integer okay customer address okay it can also be a string or we'll call it as where care okay so then what is the length how many length of each attribute okay how many characters or how many digits will be stored in the each attribute customer id for example in my database design my customer id can maximum go up to 6 characters okay the customer name we are putting as 30 okay so the date of birth date of birth you know it is a tape date type it will use the typical system a format whatever format it is taking so let us take it as 8 just for your understanding okay so two digits for the day two for the month and four for the year okay or if you want to include the hashes or the separators let us make it 10 okay so then customer phone number so typical phone number these days 10 digits customer address so let it be 100 let it be 100 characters okay so attribute its type a attributes whether it is it is a special attribute like a primary key or not its type and its length then the description the purpose what is the purpose of customer id isn't it it is a system generated unique identification given to each customer isn't it it is a system generated here i will write the purpose it is a system generated unique id for each customer i am telling what is the purpose of this what is the customer name it is used to store the name of the customer used to store customer name okay similarly used to store customer date of birth what is the purpose of customer phone number it is used to store the customer phone number and same for the address what is the purpose of having these attributes so that is the description then guys the last thing which comes is the constraints is the constraint what is constraint so constraint will tell what are the con constraints on my these data elements for example customer id is a primary key customer id is a primary key okay so can it be null can it be null no so customer id not null okay customer id not null okay and what else other constraint okay it cannot be null and it should be unique okay so what is customer id it tells it cannot be null you must have an id and it should be unique so these are the constraints on my customer id now when it comes to customer name okay zaruri very important you need to store the customer Name okay so is it a unique no Madhuri uh, no <laughs> I'm sorry is it unique no so it is not important customer name should be unique so what I say it should not be null not null okay but unique not unique it does not matter customer date of birth we must store it okay not null okay. then customer phone number then comes customer phone number okay suppose like uh, initially in our database design we thought let us keep our customer phone number optional 
let us keep our customer phone number optional so if it is optional can it be null yes it can be null okay so customer address also for the time being i am keeping it optional so it can also be null it can also be null so what i get here i get my data dictionary so it covers the attributes whether they are primary keys or not okay or they are foreign keys or they are candidate keys okay what is their type okay how much is the length of each attribute okay then brief description about the purpose of each attribute then their constraints then their constraints and which version is this this is my initial database this is my initial draft of my table okay now guys suppose suppose we did revisions we met together we changed some of the business rules and we brought up a rule which says we must store the customer phone number also we must store the customer phone number also okay so in the next version okay this was alpha i'll call the next version as beta okay now i can track it in beta it says this what it said before in alpha i have the full dictionary with me okay so in beta suppose they said we have to make customer phone number also mandatory okay so here where the customer id is the primary key so the customer phone number here optional gone so it also make in mandatory okay so the customer phone number can also work as primary key okay and any attribute which can be used as a primary key what do we call it we call it as candidate key okay we call it as candidate key and then what it will become here since it is mandatory it also should be not null it should also be not null and what else it should also be unique not null and unique okay so guys one more thing when it comes to constraints it tells whether nulls are allowed nulls are not allowed whether they should be unique or they should not be unique or they can also tell whether we can verify the data while entering it or not for example date okay so now when i declare a attribute date and whenever i try to enter the wrong date the system verifies it whether the date is correct or not otherwise it will say it will tell me give me a message please check your date so while entering this data this data is getting validated this data is getting validated so it also has a constraint so we need to validate it we need to validate it while we are entering it okay so first was my alpha version where i was not validating it and where my phone number was optional and it was not candidate key so then we made some changes i came with the next version the beta one okay so and i will change the date also so suppose it is 12 okay then i made the changes to my data dictionary also so guys that's all in a data dictionary basically it is very simple to construct but it is a very very useful tool it is a very very useful tool for communicating your database design and to refer to your database whenever there is a confusion okay and that's all for today so guys if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading more lectures on the different topics of information technologies and much more okay so guys all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned